visited Oita City, which is located in Oita Prefecture and part of the Kyushu region. Hi, Michelle. I've been told that the Kumi or innovator I'm going to meet today is a hairdresser. Let's go meet him. Hello, I'm Michelle Yamamoto. Hello, I'm Tanaka. Today's Takumi is Koichi Tanaka. He runs this beauty salon. I heard that there is something here that you developed. What is it? Yes, it's this hairdressing wheelchair. A wheelchair? That's right. It's really cool, but it's not so often that you see wheelchairs in this kind of setting. Why a wheelchair in a beauty salon? Oh, let me show you. Please, follow me. I was taken to... Oh, the place where they wash your hair. Try sitting in a standard chair first. I'm going to lower the backrest. The backrest was tilted backwards. Did you slide out of position a bit? Yes, I did. Now, please try the chair over here. Next, I tried the wheelchair that the Takumi developed. Oh! I slid in the other chair and had to readjust my position, but I didn't slide at all in this chair. With the Takumi's wheelchair, there's no need to correct your sitting position after the backrest is reclined. What is the mechanism? The seat is actually divided into two parts. One of the main features is that the seat is divided into two parts. The front part is hard, while the rear part is soft. The rear part also moves with the backrest and tilts about 20 degrees. With this, your hips sink in naturally and your body doesn't slide. And it's easy to operate. Stepping on the pedal causes the seat and backrest to recline together. The development of this wheelchair started with a service that Tanaka offered. He would visit the homes of disabled clients who found it hard to travel to the salon and cut their hair there. When doing so, he would use the wheelchair owned by the client, but Tanaka found that it was difficult to work with. So he made up his mind to develop a wheelchair that could be used for beauty treatments. After two years, this is what was developed. However, just a reclining function isn't enough because the body slides. I realized that it needed a mechanism that would prevent that. Yet he didn't know how to go about it and hit a dead end. Then he met Kiyomi Matsuo, an associate professor at Saga University and a specialist in the development of welfare equipment. Matsu had always found it troublesome to go to barber shops in his wheelchair. He felt that Tanaka's project might solve his problem. So, what Mr. Tanaka was doing sounded like a great idea to me. The two hit it off at their first meeting and decided to develop the product together. With Matsuo's knowledge, development of a mechanism to prevent the body from sliding began moving forward. Tanaka also presented his ideas using handmade models that were made on a one-tenth scale. 
The models helped us see new things, for example, that the seat and backrest shouldn't be attached. After much trial and error, the hairdressing wheelchair was completed in 2010. The wheelchair has a movable armrest and a seat that distributes body weight evenly. Simple and convenient, they're also being used in hospitals and nursing facilities. Tanaka is now developing a new wheelchair that will be easy to carry around. In the future, there will be a higher demand for house call beauticians. So I want to create a portable wheelchair that can be folded. I want to make products that can be used for house calls, and I've actually already begun commercializing some. This is an important initiative, especially considering Japan's aging population. I agree. I tried sitting in it, and it was really comfortable. There are also a variety of functions besides those introduced in the video. First, the height of the seat can also be adjusted so that the helper doesn't have to bend low. And if you look closely, there's a small wheel both in front and behind the big wheel. This makes turning easier so that the wheelchair can be maneuvered in small spaces. These functions not only make it easier for the helper, but it also helps the customer to not feel like they're getting in the way. What a wonderful idea! An aging population is a concern worldwide, especially in developed countries. I really believe that this has global applications. Tatakumi is looking to expand overseas. He's collaborating with a company that specializes in in-hospital beauty treatments and is working to introduce his wheelchair to hospitals in other countries as well. I hope that technology development progresses to the point that it could be widely used in hospitals, various nursing facilities, and even private homes. Thank you very much, Michelle. So, Dr. Gathright, what did you think of today's topic? Today we got a look at the nuclear fusion research that is being done here in Japan. Although it seems like it will take some more time before nuclear fusion generation becomes a reality, even a glimpse at the possibility means that major progress has been made. I hope that Japan plays a big part in the safety and development of this next generation energy source. Thank you. And that's all for Science View. See you next time.